Manchester United against Manchester City on Sunday. It's the first derby of the season and it's one hell of a game coming up on Sunday. Pep Guardiola's Manchester City currently eight points clear at the top of the Premier League and lots of neutral fans are saying that if Man United don't win this game, that Man City have already won the league. If they do win, they'll be 11 points clear in December. But if Jose Mourinho can cut that gap to five points, then it may well be title race on. Let's get into the match preview. Now, Manchester United are heading into this game in fantastic form. You know, this week was always seen as a potentially season-defining week for Manchester United. Starting with Watford away, 4-2, great win there. We nearly threw away a 3-0 lead. We didn't. Jesse Lingard came up with that important goal to make it 4-2. Then Arsenal away came next. Now, United away against the top six under Jose Mourinho, not been very inspiring. We were 2-0 up within 20 minutes and we didn't let go of that lead. Thanks largely due to David De Gea's unreal performance, but we won that game. And we then played CSKA Moscow, the final group stage game of the Champions League, and we won there, came from behind to win 2-1. Three really, really important victories. And heading into the Manchester derby, United are in a run of good form. So that can only be seen as a good thing. And our form at home this year has been phenomenal in the league. Seven wins out of seven, and we've only conceded a couple of goals as well. United are really a dominant force at home. And that's not only this season, because Man United have equaled a record set by Sir Matt Busby back in the 60s of 40 games unbeaten at Old Trafford in a row. The last team to win at Old Trafford, Manchester City, back in the derby in September 2016. I was there, that was the game where City dominated the first half when they had a midfield three, we had a midfield two. Zlatan got a goal back, but it was too little too late. And United went on to lose that game. But since then, undefeated, 40 games. Old Trafford is a fortress, and that's got to give United fans confidence going into this game. But City as well will be very, very confident because they are on the verge of breaking a record too. Just like if we win this, we break that record set by Sir Matt Busby back in the 60s and his United team. If Pep Guardiola's Man City win this game, they go 15 wins in a row and that will be a record for a team in the Premier League. Man City may have lost their unbeaten run 2-1 away to Shakhtar Donetsk, but they still got it in the league and that's where United have got to do it. But as I've said, United are going into this in great form. We had a nice home game against CSK in Moscow, topped the group in the Champions League. Happy days. Man City travelled away to Shakhtar Donetsk and lost 2-1. That's not a bad way for hopefully City to come into it, maybe with a little bit less confidence. But regardless of that, City will be confident of winning. United, we're definitely going to have to do a job up against the best attack in the league. Man City have been ferocious going forward this year. Their ability to bring it out from the back with speed and intensity and attack very, very fast is dangerous. But Man United hopefully will be able to set up and stop that from happening. Obviously, the big team news for Manchester United going into this derby, we're going to have to play without our midfield maestro, Paul Pogba. He got himself suspended, rightfully, with a red card against Arsenal. Maybe it wasn't a red card tackle, but when the tackle was made, the referee had no decision but to send him off after he stood in the back of Bellerin's leg. Because of that, United are going to have to play differently. Pogba has been that link between defence and attack that's made our counter-attacking so fluid. Without him... And a Herrera or Marouane Fellaini, whoever plays in midfield, has to step up. Because Pogba to United is what De Bruyne is to City. The main playmaker, the man who makes it all tick. And it's going to be tough without him. And the man who Matic, Mourinho has confirmed that he will be injured, but he will play. So Matic is not going to be 100% fit, but he's definitely going to play in this game. And my God, we need him if we don't have Paul Pogba. We got overran in midfield last year in the derby. We cannot let that happen again. And Matic is going to be crucial to that. Two, two or three players who could play. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has a big chance of playing, so I imagine he'll feature from the bench. Probably not in the starting 11. At least I hope not anyway. Um, Marouane Fellaini, Phil Jones, most they also may feature as well. But there's no chance that Eric Bailly is going to play and there's no chance that Michael Carrick is going to play in this game. Uh, for Manchester City, both Vincent Kompany and Fernandinho were rested for the game against West Ham. Because they had one, one card away from a domestic ban, so I imagine both of them will come back into the starting eleven. But City's squad is looking strong ahead of this game. United's squad is looking very strong, apart from Paul Popper being out. But going into it, 
Here is my predicted 11 for this big, big game. I think United are going to stick to the 5-3-2 that we have used again, way against Watford and away against Arsenal to very good effect. We need to set up on the counter-attack. That's what we've been doing well. Man City will do the same, but it's whether or not we can cope with their pressure in our third of the pitch when we've got the ball in defence and they're pressuring us. We need to be able to be good with possession out from the back. That's what Man City do very well. United don't do it as well, and we need to improve that against City on Sunday, or maybe just negate that and go for long balls. But with, uh, with Jesse Lingard in my starting 11, maybe that's not the best idea. David De Gea, I'm starting him in goal, with Young and Valencia as wing-backs, Lindelof, Smalling and Rojo as my three centre-backs. Now, I think that Young and Valencia are going to be United's two most important players going into this derby, those two and Jesse Lingard, simply because I think United need that overlaps Need, the, need those overlapping runs, sorry, from Young, from Valencia to properly get some width on this Manchester City team and stop them from defending narrowly. Uh, because if we do that, it'll open up space, it'll create space for Lingard, it'll create space for Martial, for Lukaku, for Matic, for Herrera, for anybody to go through the middle. If we don't have Young and Valencia overlapping properly, City will be able to sit tight, sit defensive and United won't be able to break through. In midfield, I've gone for Matic. I've gone for Ander Herrera to start in midfield over Maro and Fellaini because possession-based football is so important in this game. We need to control the midfield. I feel we can control it better with Herrera than we can with Fellaini, who's more of a bullish central midfielder, but he's not too good with the ball at his feet. We need players in that midfield who are confident in possession. And I'm definitely putting Jesse Lingard in at the number 10. Fantastic away at Watford, fantastic away at Arsenal. And if you look at the Chelsea game away this season, we played with this sort of formation where you had two central midfielders and a number 10 to make it a midfield three. But Mkhitaryan was so poor at Stamford Bridge that Eden Hazard, Kante and Fabregas and Bakayoko just had the run of the mill in the middle. We can't let that happen against Silva, De Bruyne and Fernandinho. We need Lingard to be dropping deep when we're defending and when we're in possession, he needs to be bursting forward. It's going to be a very tough game for Lingard. But I think he can do it. He's banging form. And up front, I've gone for Anthony Martial and Romelu Lukaku. You could go Rashford there if you want, but Rashford from the bench or Martial from the bench, whoever it is, is going to be a game-changing substitution. And in a game like this, we're going to need to change it in the last 20 minutes. So that I don't mind Rashford starting on the bench or Martial. I would just start Martial. Who will be in your starting 11, though? Let me know in the comments, as always. Now, as you know, United People's TV back for the season by Ladbrokes, and we are still promoting... A odds boost bet is what they can do. The link's in the description. All the info's down there. It's basically you put a bet on, you can get an odds boost by going through using our link. My bet for this, I think Martial's going to score first. Might be wrong, might be right, but I've, I'm back in United to start strongly in this game. We're home. We play well against Watford and we play well against Arsenal by starting strongly. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So United needs to come out of the blocks firing in this game. And if we don't, like last year, Man City, would, they were so supreme in that first half. The game was basically over by the second because they could sit so deep. They didn't have to come out of their defence and we couldn't break them down. Without Paul Popper, we're not going to be as creative going forward. So we need to make it as easy as possible for ourselves. And right now, attack is our best form of defence, even though we've got David De Gea in goal. Prediction-wise for this game... I'm, I'm nervous. I really am nervous. City are phenomenal this year, but we cannot lose this game. We cannot let them go 11 points clear. And I trust in Jose Mourinho to play exactly how he needs to play to stop this Manchester City team. Maybe he's going to surprise us all. Maybe play Fellaini, maybe play Matic and Herrera in midfield so that Herrera can man mark De Bruyne out of the game, just like he did Eden Hazard last year when we won 2 0 at Old Trafford. I don't know. Maybe Mourinho is going to whip something out of the bag here. But for me, I'm going for a one-all draw. And I would take a draw 100% before the game. As long as United don't lose this game, I would consider that a success to an extent. But somebody's got to stop this Manchester City team. And why not make that Man United at home, at Old Trafford, in front of 75,000 fans in the derby? It's going to be one hell of an atmosphere. Can't wait to go on Sunday. Let me know your predictions in the comments below and what's your predicted 11. Drop a like on the video if you're new and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.